once upon a vine type wine. <laughs> so the theme of the pairing is mystery, or as I like to call it, misterio. So once upon a vine is actually the big bad red blend. It is a blend of many red California grapes, uh, none of which are listed anywhere on the bottle. <laughs> Hence the misterio. There, I do know that there are um, sulfites, and that you cannot drink it if you're pregnant. But other than that, there's much more guidance to what is in the misterio wine. So I thought to myself, self, what would be a good pairing for the misterio once upon a vine wine when you don't know like what to pair it with? When there's so many, and how many blends, how many types of wine are in it? It could be like Malbec and Cabernet Sauvignon, it could be five, it could be even nine. So I decided that it would be very um, fitting to have a mystery pairing. And I, I figured I would probably go last, and so I said to be, on, since we're on a budget, like you mentioned, Sarah, um, it is good to have a mystery pairing. And I figured, what else, to, what better to pair it with than chicken and waffles and strawberries and chocolate and dark chocolate and M&Ms and peanut M&Ms and blondies and basically what I thought was this wine was probably made from leftover wines into one so why not pair with leftover parents <laughs> so we may have this with any leftovers that are on the table as the pairing for my wine the end Oh, okay. <laughs> we have the port still too. It's up to you. Wait, is that is that cheese or cheesecake? That's cheese.